Hey everybody and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures and this is my rendition of Swan Creek. Me and my dad were driving down the road and we saw a swan in this creek and we thought wow I, we never saw a swan out in the wild so we stopped to take a look at it. This is a mute swan and mute swans actually aren't native to North America. They're native to Africa and Eurasia and I can tell it's a mute swan and not the native trumpeter swan because the trumpeter swan has a black mask and a black bill and is much larger than the mute swan. And the mute swan has the black mask but has an orange bill. And seeing as how they're not from North America, they're often kept as pets and who won't want to keep one as a pet? They're very majestic and look amazing in anyone's pond. But another reason why people get swans is as guard dogs. Swans are highly territorial, especially the males. And they will often chase off geese and keep them out of their property. Because yes, geese are nice to look at, but they will poop all over your yard and come in huge numbers and can chase you. So the swans will keep away the geese. And also, they can be used as an early warning to keep like dogs barking because there's a dog back there barking that when a stranger comes by or there's a big predator they will warn you in addition to the mute and trumpeter swans there are many other kinds of swans including the black necked swan which is characterized by the black neck as the name implies a red fleshy blob like snood on its bill and face and a white stripe over its eye and they are from South America there are also tundra and whooper swans which look very similar because they have a black and yellow bill with a white body but the tundra swan is from Arctic regions while the whooper swan is from Eurasia The black swan is very unique, being the only swan with no white on its body. It has black feathers and a red bill and is from Australia. There is also a bird called the Coscaroba swan. They are the smallest species of swan, but they are no longer considered a true swan. And they are characterized by, of course, their small stature, their white feathers, and their red bill, and they are from South America. Swans eat both in the water and on land. They will eat small amounts of aquatic animals, but mostly eat plants. And their diet is composed of roots, tubers, stems, and the leaves of aquatic plants. In many of the clips, you can see the swan ducking its neck under the water and coming back up. This is called dabbling, and dabbling is probably the most common way for any waterfowl, including swans, geese, and ducks, to eat. I can tell this one is a male because it has a knob on its bill. A male swan is called a cob and the females are called pens. And swans generally mate for life, but they can get separated or divorced, usually from a nesting failure or if one of the mates dies. This is what I think happened to this one. Its mate got killed somehow. When nesting is successful, the female will lay a clutch of three to eight eggs and both mates will take care of the eggs until they hatch and the babies are called cygnets. Swans 
Swans are the biggest of any waterfowl, and they're among the heaviest of any flying bird, with the trumpeter swan being the largest and heaviest, and their wingspan being 10 feet long. So that is our rendition of Swan Creek. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you ever see a swan out in the wild, try and stop to see if it's either a native trumpeter swan, if you're from North America at least, or the domestic mute swan. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.